Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're a graphic designer, consider this video a wake-up call because the creative economy is rapidly evolving and becoming more competitive than ever if you haven't noticed. And if you're a graphic designer, it's important for you to really recognize and to accept this reality. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about some of the challenges you may be facing and also some of the solutions that you can use to navigate them so you're able to survive and thrive in spite of them. We're also gonna talk about some of the opportunities that are emerging in 2023 and beyond and what you need to know about them because they require that you actually plan accordingly and position yourself in the best way possible so you don't become roadkill on the great creative economy superhighway. And I want you to stick with me till the end because I'm gonna share the Powerball number of how you survive as a designer. So are you ready? Let's do this. Now the biggest challenge right now is oversaturation. I hear from graphic designers all the time and they're saying that they feel like there are just so many of us out there, and there are, that the market has just gotten so oversaturated. With the advent of AI-aided design tools and the maturity of social media marketing, this has really leveled the playing field so that there are people who have just a year or two of experience who are out there billing themselves as experts. This is making it harder for more seasoned designers to stand out from the crowd and to secure opportunities and clients. So, how do you create distance between you and everybody else? How do you become recognized and memorable in the minds of people in your target market? The answer is to differentiate yourself. This leads us to the question, or the challenge, of knowing who exactly is your target market. What industry are they in? What size business do they work in? One of the best strategies to thrive in a saturated market and to differentiate yourself is to niche down. Serving a specific niche in the market can help distinguish you from other creatives. You can focus on a specific industry like real estate or hospitality or travel or dentistry or pharmaceuticals, it doesn't really matter. Or you can choose to focus on a certain type of design like packaging or UX UI or social media advertising, motion design or web design. And here's a power tip. If you combine a niche industry, for example, let's say real estate, with a niche design capability, let's say social media ad design, you create a tighter niche that enables you to focus on how you build your portfolio and how you market yourself and where you show up on social and how you target finding clients. Finding clients who are in that niche industry and need that niche design capability. So the next question is, how do you develop your niche? Well, you want to start by identifying where your interests and your strengths are. You want to take some time to reflect on the type of work that excites you and where your strengths lie. You might enjoy certain projects more than others or find that your work excels in specific areas. Understanding this can guide you towards a niche that you are passionate about and that you're capable in. Now next you wanna do some market research. You wanna start by researching different industries or different design disciplines that interest you. And you wanna make sure to consider the needs of the market and its potential opportunities. For instance, you might identify the need for UX UI design in the tech startup space. Or you might identify the need for branding services for eco-friendly businesses or identify a need for packaging in specialty food startups. You wanna create those sorts of marriages between a need and an industry. So I wanna take a moment and say, if you're enjoying this video so far, just take a second and hit the subscribe button and bang that notifications bell so you can get alerted when I post something new or when I go live. Okay, let's get back to it. The next step, you wanna move ahead and define your target audience. Who are the end users of your niche service? Are they in a specific industry or are they of a certain size company or a certain location? The more clarity you can define your target audience with, the better you can tailor your services to their specific needs. And then you want to move ahead and refine your skill set. Once you've identified your niche and the target market, you want to work on refining those skills that are most relevant and most needed in those areas. For example, if you choose to specialize, let's say in motion graphics for the events industry, you might want to invest time in mastering advanced motion design techniques and really understanding what type of design is used in conferences and trade shows. That kind of approach would be a really great idea. The next action you want to take is you want to start updating your portfolio to address the niche that you're going to target. You want to tailor your portfolio to highlight relevant projects that showcase your skills in your chosen niche. 
And if you lack projects in those particular areas, you might want to consider developing some spec work or do some self-assigned projects on your own. Now this is a really great way to get started and to build your portfolio because you can demonstrate your best design skills without actually having the limitations of what a client likes or needs. The next step is you want to start marketing to your niche. You want to make it clear in your branding and on your website and social media and your communication and copywriting that you specialize in that particular area. You want to use language that your target audience will identify with and understand. You want to think about how to articulate the problems that they have and what the solutions are that you're bringing to the table. Now I want to take a moment and have you understand something really important. Developing a niche doesn't mean you have to turn away other kinds of work but it allows you to focus your marketing efforts and position yourself as an expert in that particular area. And as you become known in this niche area of expertise, you can attract higher quality clients and more focused work. This also reduces the number of your direct competitors since fewer designers are gonna share that specific focus that you have. Now let's discuss how you're gonna find, connect, and engage with your target audience and do it in a way that's gonna lead them to becoming your clients. Now doing this requires a little strategic planning and thoughtful communication. So here are some effective methods to use. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna identify where your target market is hanging out. Each audience is gonna have its own preferred online platform and offline events. This could be specific social media groups or forums or online communities or industry events or conferences. And once you've identified those spaces, you wanna start showing up there and really participating actively meeting people and participating in comment threads. Now the next marketing step that you need to take is you have to leverage content on social media. You wanna use the main key platforms like LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook to share content that's relevant to your audience if that's the platform where they're hanging out. Now you might be sharing your own work, you could share insights about your chosen niche, or you could even just share curated content from other sources. Now this next point is key. You wanna make sure to engage in conversations and comment on posts and respond to comments on your own posts. Then you can get familiar with some of the people. And once you get familiar, you wanna shoot them a DM. Now let's discuss webinars and workshops for a second. A really great way to engage your target audience is to offer a free webinar or a free workshop. You can then provide valuable information to that target market and really do it in a way that highlights your design skills as a way to solve their problems. You wanna try creating a couple case studies so they can really see and understand how it is what you do solves their problem. Now, this also gives potential clients a really great taste of your expertise and it provides you with an opportunity to engage with them directly. Now, the next engagement method is networking. One of the best ways to get started in a niche market is to attend industry events, conferences, and meetups, whether in person or online, and meet your potential clients in your target audience. When you meet people, you wanna to try to build genuine relationships rather than seeing each person as a potential sale, because people can smell a sales pitch a mile away. All you wanna do is you really wanna just make a connection and make friends first, and the business part will follow and flow eventually. People like to do business with people that they know and that they like and that they trust. Now the next step is direct outreach. After you meet some people, if there's some individuals or businesses that you'd really like to work with, you wanna consider reaching out to them directly. Now you wanna be respectful and personalize your email or your DM messages explaining why you're interested in their work and their business and how your services could really benefit them. Again, this is where not using generic pitches to cut and paste copy is key. It's so much better to send 10 personalized direct messages than 100 generic ones. Now, I promised you at the very beginning of the video that I would share with you the Powerball number of designer survival, and here it is, referrals. Once you have a couple satisfied clients, ask them to refer you to others in the industry who might need your services. Word of mouth is the most powerful marketing tool especially in niche industry categories. Industry niches are really small places. Once you start satisfying clients in an industry, word gets around really fast. And the word of mouth or referrals is one of the most powerful aspects of niching down to a design specialty and an industry. Now remember, 
The key to all of these strategies is to provide value first. Rather than focusing on selling your services, focus on how you can help your target audience. Whether that's by offering a webinar or sharing a curated article or publishing an industry newsletter or just introducing people to each other at an event. Providing value helps build visibility and trust and establishes a solid reputation for you within your niche, which can and will lead to clients over time. So now if you need help differentiating yourself in a saturated design market, I want you to reach out to me at philipvandusen.com slash one-on-one because I help people just like you excel in their careers and businesses through career coaching. I specialize in helping mid-career creatives successfully power through career-defining pivot points. And together, we're gonna build a step-by-step -step plan that's gonna get you to the next level. So thanks again for watching. And bye for now.